Alright, so part two of my uh, laptop power supply bulk charger. Now, this is what I ended up with, and I showed earlier how to open these up. Now, the laptop power supplies are a fixed voltage, and you can't easily adjust them. I'm sure there's a way if you know all about electronics, but I don't. So, uh, what I've done is I put three of those in series, and I found after a couple of uses that they get pretty hot. So, I've added um, CPU heat sinks on the top and I just JB welded the edges to hold them on and in series with a 48 volt power supply that I can adjust all the way down from 20 volts to 60 volts using a potentiometer, a little tiny screwdriver thing here um, the result of this is that I have 24 let's call it 25 for simplicity uh, 25, 50, 75 volts plus this adjustable one which I can fine tune um, when I turn that on with a cycle analyst plugged into the power leads, um, I end up with 99.3 volts, and right now I'm showing zero watts because it's just sitting at idle. Um, now, last time I went for a ride on my trike, I used about two amp hours from my 13 amp hour battery, and um, what's going to happen right now if I plug this in? And this is a tap into the pack on the negative and positive ends of the 100 volt battery. Um, if I simply plug this in, I'm now charging all 12 battery packs at once, and I'm showing 430 some watts at 4.6 amps and 95.3 volts. Now the um, the battery on my trike is made using. 12 of these Hubby King, uh, 4.5 amp hour, 24 volt, 6 cell packs. Now in the, my trike I've got a total of 12 packs, which means I've got 3 in parallel, which means 3 times 4.5 amp hours for a total of 13.5. And I've got 4 of these groupings of 3 um, in series, which increases my voltage, it gives me a total of 100 volts. Um, before you assemble them into a big pack, you have to use a um, any RC charger will do the job, but this is a Hyperion 1410, uh, 1412 actually, um, which you can plug your balance leads and your power leads into, and then charge, discharge, uh, test each pack individually before assembling into a 100 volt pack. Because once you bulk charge, the way I'm doing now, um, this charger does not have the ability to monitor each individual cell or know what's going on with the pack. All it wants to do is reach 99 point whatever voltage I set. Uh, right now I'm at 1.2 amp hours and 96.7 volts. And once it reaches 99.3 is what I set this charger at, it's going to reduce the power. Right now I'm at 4.4 amps and that'll taper down to 0 amps uh, once it reaches 99 volts until no more power is flowing into the battery pack and at that point I'm fully charged. Now I set my 99.3 volts to average 4.15 volts on every cell. Uh, some will be higher, some will be lower, but it's okay because no cell goes over 4.2 which is the maximum any LiPo cell should be allowed to charge. Then by not fully charging my pack I extend its life making it last you know, as long as possible. Um, I also never fully discharge because I have no BMS on this trike. I'm running straight from the battery and I monitor uh, using a separate cycle analyst mounted to the trike how much energy I've consumed and I never use more than 10 amp hours at the most uh, leaving 3.5 in there. Um, and that's your basics of bulk charging.